5G technology is at the heart of the trade dispute between the U.S. and China as both countries race to be the first to build out high-speed 5G networks. But why is this such a big deal and why is it the centerpiece of the trade dispute? Joining us to discuss that is Ian Sher, executive editor at CNET. Welcome back, Ian. Nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. Uh, t the, the basic question is, why is everybody focusing on 5G? Yes, it's the next big thing, but what are the implications of whether China wins or the U.S. wins? Well, it, a lot of this is bragging rights, right? That's a very important part of this. But what's interesting as well is that China actually produces a lot of the networking equipment that makes 5G possible. So what's really interesting here is that there's this extra kind of layer in all of this going on where the United States government, which has been raising alarms about Chinese hacking and all sorts of other things in addition to this trade dispute going on, uh, is trying to actually keep other countries and ourselves from using 5G networking equipment from China. And this causes like uh, quite a bit of, of, of consternation, a lot of confusion in the market, particularly because there hasn't been that much proof of where, there, where all these concerns are coming from yet. Uh, implicit in the FCC's approval of the, the deal between Sprint and uh, T-Mobile was they said that this would allow for a faster rollout of 5G. So there it is again. Can we roll out 5G even faster with those two merging and with Huawei out of the picture? You know, I, I know it's going to be kind of a crazy thing to hear, but I don't think it actually matters much. Like this whole race to 5G thing on some level is really just about the bragging rights. And at the end of the day, in the next few years, we're all going to have it. We're all going to have the benefits of it, hopefully, if it lives up to all of the marketing hype. And it's not going to be an issue. But what this has turned into is that it's become a political fight, partially because we're in the middle of this trade war. And along those lines, there was an analyst quoted on Reuters today saying this is going to extend beyond tariffs to force a rebuilding of the global technology industry, splitting it into Chinese and U.S. spheres of influence. Do you think it will get that far? Uh, it would be really interesting to see. I mean, so much of the global supply chain, specifically for the tech industry, flows through Asia. And the idea that suddenly we're going to just put our, our foot on the brake and stop uh, producing chips and phones and everything else in China is really hard for me to get my head around. Uh, and not to mention that there are estimates already that these trade disputes are going to have to raise the prices for a lot of consumer technology. It's just hard to believe that we could actually pull that off. But, you know, it, we're talking about years down the line, I guess anything could be possible. All right, Ian, thank you. I'm sure we'll be speaking again. Yes. Ian Sherwood with CNET.